I have to say that I always enjoy, I enjoy playing for Vic. No, I'll, I'll be even clearer. It is a thrill to play the drums knowing Vic Firth is listening. And, and Vic always makes it a point to come out and hear me play when I'm in the Boston or New England area. And, and it's exciting knowing that somebody with that level of musical knowledge and understanding and insight is listening to me play. So that's exciting and inspiring. The last time that I played at the Berkeley Performance Center in, in Boston, he was standing about 10 feet behind me and he said, Steve, I'm just gonna, you know, watch a little bit and then I gotta go because I got an appointment. So I said, great, you know, thanks for coming. And I went out and, and I played and I, I played about a 25 minute solo piece and came off the stage and he was still standing there. And, and, that, and that was a thrill. He said, man, when you got started, because I started playing with timpani mallets and, you know, it was a great compliment. He said, I, I just really got mesmerized by what you were doing and just couldn't leave. So, I mean, that's a thrill to play for somebody like that and then have them appreciate what you do to that point. And that's pretty high level, interesting, exciting stuff to be involved with. One of the ways that you can fully appreciate a Vic for a stick is to know the difference between a stick that doesn't sound and feel right to a stick that does sound and feel right. Do your own comparison. Go into a music store, try a, a pair of, of Vic for a sticks, listen to the resonance of the stick, listen to the pitch, see that they're matched and you'll feel the weight is matched. And then go ahead and try that with another brand. Roll the sticks on the counter, check to see if they're, they're straight or if they're like a banana.